The Sandringham handicap is next. This is a nine furlong, nought to ninety. And at the top, we've got Magnus Mohea. Paul Rhodes, Limerick Legend, Padraig Hogan, Townhouse, David Robertson, Penny Lane, Padraig Hogan, Noah Casherell, Marty Lidham, Professor Shamali, Derek Hinton, Mary Curie, Nick Driver, Slingshot, Daniel French, Steamboat Willy, Graham Clutterbuck, Lucky Moon, Nick Driver, Moonshine, Craig Beckwith, Babylon, Paul Parsons, Ladyship, Alex Cherry, Mountain Guest, Paul Parsons, and then Legume, and Himalayan Clarets, for Jamie Hopkins at the bottom, a field of 16. In this one, all installed and ready to go on the round course. And away we go. And Magnus Mohea quickly out. I'm going to try and get across to this fence, I think, where the Padre Hogan pair might try and stop him. Also trying to get out quickly is Marie Curie. And Marie Curie has now shot to the lead and has quickly got across to the fence to lead. So it's Marie Curie then who's got the inside rail from Legume in second. Noah Casherell is in third. Then comes Slingshot and Penny Lane. Babylon's after that one. And then Magnus Mohair looking towards the back. Ladyship is the early back marker, but they're racing down there past the six furlong pole. And it's Marie Curie in the lead for Nick Driver. Legumes is in second. Then right over on the far side, Slingshot. Babylon is also quite wide with Stablemate Mountain Guest. Noah Casherell is next. Penny Lane has got the rail. Chasing that one is Magnus Mohair. Steamboat Willie is in the middle of the pack as well. So too is Limerick Legend and Lucky Moon. Looking to the back, Ladyship is the back marker. Well, they've got four furlongs still to go. And Marie Curie is clearing the lead by about two to three lengths from in second place. Now Magnus Mohair, the top weight, is coming through to throw down a challenge. Penny Lane has moved into third. Also coming in behind that one is Limerick Legend. The two Paul Parsons horses are starting to make a move as well. Mountain Guest and Babylon. Then comes Legume. Slingshot is trying to get into it. Noah Casherell is after that one. But they're coming down towards the final two. Then now Marie Curie is about to be collared by Magnus Moaya. Mountain Guest on the outside. Penny Lane's got no room. Then after that one comes Babylon. Swingshot. Princess Shamali's running on as well. Noah Casherell is still there. Moonshine's trying to get into it. There's a less than a fur on to go. Magnus Moaya's in front. But now Mountain Guest. Professor Shamali is flying through. And Professor Shamali's taking it up. But here comes Babylon now. Professor Shamali. Babylon. On, it's going to be close. Professor Shamali and Babylon and Moonshine was finishing like a rocket, and they, they're getting some pretty tight finishes today. And this one is going to be on the nod again. Could be Babylon. That might be Paul Parsons' first Royal Ascot winner. Indeed, it is. Babylon for Paul Parsons, the winner. Professor Shamali for Derek Hinton, second. Moonshine for Greg Beckwith, third. Townhouse for David Robertson, fourth. And Paul Parsons took fifth as well with Mountain Guest. So that's well done to Paul Parsons getting a Royal Ascot winner in his first season.